So, Dr. Oliveira, what is trial-based cognitive therapy, and how does it differ from cognitive behavioral therapy? Trial-based cognitive therapy, or TBCT, was an approach I developed a few years ago. Um, it is 100% CBT. Uh, however, I think it is more structured and more experiential than uh, conventional CBT. Uh, the main goal I had in mind when I developed, uh, when I developed TBCT uh, was to make it easier for the patient to understand it, but also for the therapist to share the cognitive model with the patient. Uh, TBCT has some distinctive features. For example, uh, we use a lot of metaphors, and the main one is the law of metaphor. Uh, this is because, uh, the, the, because the inspiration um, to develop TBCT came from the novel uh, written by Franz Kafka, uh, The Trial. Um, my interpretation of The Trial was that Kafka wanted to propose a universal principle, the principle of self-accusation. Uh, and then I thought that uh, this concept of self-accusation matches what uh, cognitive therapists call um, core beliefs. So, uh, if the client succeeds in uncovering uh, the core belief or the self-accusation, uh, then it is much easier for the patient to organize his or her own defense. So, what kind of patients would you say typically benefit from TBCT? TBCT is, uh, is a transdiagnostic approach, meaning that it can be used in most psychiatric disorders. Uh, the reason is that this approach uh, is more focused in restructuring uh, dysfunctional cognitions, those we call core beliefs. Great, so could you describe some of the techniques that you use in trial-based cognitive therapy? Besides the TBCT conceptualization diagram, we developed uh, several thought records, for example, the intrapersonal thought record and the interpersonal thought records. They are used to restructure automatic thoughts. Uh, we also developed the consensual role play together with the uh, color coded symptoms hierarchy uh, that were developed to help the patient uh, resolve ambivalence. But the most important technique used in, in, in TBCT is the trial itself, in which the core beliefs are put on trial. But we can also mention the trial-based uh, trial metacognitive awareness technique in which the patients become more aware of their thoughts and beliefs. And uh, uh, I would say that the patient be may become more metacognitively aware of his or her thoughts and core beliefs. So what does the research show about the effectiveness of trial-based cognitive therapy? Trial-based cognitive therapy is an evidence-based approach. Um, a few studies were conducted to test its effectiveness. I would like to mention two of them. Uh, one study uh, was, to, was designed to compare TBCT and uh, standard CBT and social anxiety disorder. The results were similar. Uh, however, um, I was surprised by the finding that TBCT was superior in decreasing the scores of the scale of fear of negative evaluation uh, compared to standard CBT. Uh, another study was conducted to compare um, TBCT and, and prolonged exposure in PTSD patients. Um, the results were similar in this study too. But we were also surprised by the fact that uh, effect sizes were uh, bigger in TBCT as compared to uh, prolonged exposure in PTSD patients. So if I was interested in finding a therapist that's knowledgeable in TBCT, how would I go about finding them? Uh, there is a list of certified TBCT therapists uh, on the TBCT website. Uh, the easiest way is to Google tribe-based cognitive therapy and uh, look for certified TBCT therapists. So I understand that there's a pretty extensive training program for clinicians who want to learn TBCT. Um, so what's involved with that and what are the most essential components of that training? The TBCT training and certification involves three two-day weekends over two to four months. Uh, the most essential components are the video demonstrations with real patients 
uh, and the techniques are exhaustively um, practiced by the participants with peers and they are also supervised by myself, by Noah Kleiman or Donna Sudak. And who conducts your workshops? I teach most of the techniques, but I'm fortunate to count on Noah Kleiman, who is, a, who is an excellent TBCT therapist. And he is already certified as a TBCT supervisor. Um, I'm also happy to count on Donna Sudak and uh, Scott Kellogg, uh, to help me in some of the workshops. So after going through the workshop, what are the requirements for completing the workshop successfully? Reading the TBCT manual published by Routledge, attending the workshops and practicing with colleagues are very important. But the use of TBCT uh, with at least one patient is essential for certification. Uh, the participants should demonstrate in role plays uh, with peers that they mastered the, the TBCT techniques. And what kind of credential would a clinician receive after completing the training? It is important to clarify that uh, as TBCT is an addition to CBT, uh, it is important that uh, the participant be trained in CBT. And is there anything you would suggest that clinicians should do to get ready for the training? Just going to our website and registering for our next workshop um, in New York City in November. Okay, well thank you so much, this sounds great. Um, before we leave, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about where we can learn more about trial-based cognitive therapy? Please, please send me an email and I'll be happy to share all the papers that have been published uh, with you. You can also read the TBCT manual uh, published by Routledge. So I understand you do trainings all over the world. Uh, where is trial-based cognitive therapy available? You are right. Uh, TBCT has been taught in the United States, in Brazil, and in Europe. For example, we have many certified TBCT therapists in Brazil, in the United States, and also in France.